How many people here have never performed tarpanam? Only a few. Okay, that's good. Then we don't have too much. Yes, now for all of you who would like to know more about tarpanam, if you haven't already seen our video on our blog, uh, we have a video where I walk you through step by step through the tarpanam practice that Dr. Pillai recommends. <coughs> Today, as I mentioned, we're going to be uh, performing another version of Tarpanam with grace light added to it. Again, that is my personal practice. I do it every day, and it's something that I found very beautiful and very beneficial, and it helps me to have a deep connection with my ancestors. So I'll teach you that practice today. In your daily practice, you can definitely choose to do the version that Dr. Pillai teaches. If you feel so compelled to give grace light to your ancestors every day during Tarpanam, you can choose to do so. It's totally optional and as you feel, whatever connects with you. So um, let me just cover the basic elements of Tarpanam again. Now as I mentioned earlier, the Tarpanam practice is very powerful on a new moon day. On a new moon day, your ancestors, the souls of your ancestors that are on the earth plane already, as Dr. Pillai has said, most souls are not able to transit out of the earth plane. In fact, well over 90% of souls are actually trapped on the earth plane. And the souls of your ancestors are gathered very close around you, particularly on a new moon day. Now the challenge that we have with having the souls of our ancestors close around us is that all the problems and difficulties that they experienced in their life, they're still carrying that energetically in their soul. So they may be transferring to you their own thoughts, their own attitudes, <coughs> their own experiences of negativity, in fact, for some of you, some of your thoughts may not be your thoughts. They may be coming directly from your ancestors. And their uh, health problems may be affecting you. Their financial problems may be affecting you. If they've had challenges in their marriage, they may be passing that on to you. There is no ill intention in all of this. It's simply that their souls are trapped on the earth plane and they are close to you because genetically their soul is linked to you through soul genetics. So they're simply close, hovering around you and they're looking to transition and to be released into light. That's what they're seeking. So when you do the practice of tarpanam, which many of you know they do in India, the priest will do for you. Dr. Pillai teaches that you doing tarpanam yourself, as I mentioned earlier, is the most powerful ritual you can do on a daily basis. It will bring miracles into your life because when you offer food to the souls of your ancestors, and this food is no more than white rice powder, the black sesame seeds, and the darba grass. When you offer food to the souls of your ancestors, they become appeased and they don't send out their energies towards you as much. And during the ritual, you actually make a prayer that they pass over into light. So your daily ritual can do a fantastic good for your ancestors. When they transition into light, they will be very powerful for you as your personal gods and goddesses that you can ask them to do things for you. They will bless you, they will bring miracles into your life. So tarpanam is powerful for your ancestors, for their benefit, and for your benefit. And as I mentioned, when you do tarpanam, on a new moon day, it's very powerful. When you do it on a Saturday, Lord Saturn is logging that as good karma for you, that you are seeking to do good for your ancestors. So the practice today will be very powerful. Now, in the typical tarpanam practice, as you know, you just hold these materials in your right hand. You would do this only from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The souls of your ancestors are not available before 6 a.m., so there's no use in doing the ritual then. 
you add a little bit of water to the mixture and then you make a prayer to 12 generations or 6 generations, I usually do 12, of dead ancestors on your father's side and then your mother's side. And then uh, you wait for them energetically to come and many people can feel the ancestors actually uh, nibbling or a light energy of uh, tickling their palm and many people have that sen sensation. So you wait until you feel that they've come, they've partaken of the offering and then you wash away the offering with water. 